With less than 24 hours to go, last-minute vital supplies are still arriving at Trent Bridge. It's a similar story in the kitchens. The staff prepare to feed the thousands of hungry mouths an event like this attracts. And on the pitch, some last-minute gardening, as Trent Bridge plays host to a sell-out crowd. For the club, it's a huge financial boost. If we'd have had uh, a call centre with 17,000 staff, we'd have sold them in, a, in an instant. We're only limited by the fact that only so many could get through on the lines at, at any one time. But within 48 hours, the first four days were sold out. And shortly after Christmas, um, day five went as well. So uh, a capacity crowd for all five days, which is unprecedented at, at Trent Bridge. But it's not just the club's coffers that are benefiting. Businesses all across the city have been gearing up for an Ashes invasion. Over the next five days, this bar and restaurant in West Bridgeford is planning to be open for 18 hours a day, serving up food and drink to the cricketing hordes. For us, it would be worth probably 20,000, 25,000 pounds, which you know, we're saying we're going to be four times what we make in those few days. You know. What difference does that make to you as a business? Well, it's fantastic for us because it means we can, we can budget for that. You know, it gives us a chance to, that money would go into immediately improving our business, which is... No, it, it, that's, that's the point of it, you know, it's, it's like Christmas twice a year for us. It's the same story for local food suppliers. The owners of this sandwich shop close to the ground reckon that from tomorrow they'll be doing four times their normal trade. It's better than the, the normal test match. It's just everybody's really interested in it and the atmosphere is just buzzing and it's brilliant. Of course, all those thousands of cricket fans need somewhere to stay. The Talbot Hotel, next to the Trent Bridge ground, is fully booked over the next five days. As a result, they've taken on extra staff and bought in extra food and drink, all from local suppliers. All thanks to this famous cricketing spectacle. It puts us into the world stage, which is where we want to be, really. I've got uh, several more bookings from Australia coming over the next few weeks, uh, and I do believe it's partly as a result of the publicity we pushed out for this event. In total, it's thought this one Ashes test could boost the region's economy to the tune of at least £35 million. And with an estimated worldwide TV audience of 500 million tuning in to watch, many are hoping the match will have longer lasting benefits. What we're noticing is that many people plan later and later and later. So if they see something which is actually good on the media, uh, they see something which is really interest them, very often they will adjust their plans and we hope they'll come here. And presumably it helps if you have an England win. Absolutely, yes, we, uh, we'd like that too. So with the weather forecast set fair and the cash tills ringing, the opening Ashes salvo is a welcome shot in the arm for Nottingham's economy. Here's hoping England's performance on the pitch will add to the feel-good factor. Phil Brewster, ITV News, Trent Bridge in Nottingham.